We've all finished singing Old Lang Syne, or as my sister calls it, Old Man's Eyes. Oh. <laughs> Old Man's Eyes, well. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have a look at last year. Well, that's 2023 done and dusted. Boom. Old Man's Eyes. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so bizarre. Uh, we are going to take a hot minute to look at our favourite minis that we painted in 2023. Yeah, we painted loads last year. Loads. Yes, we did. Uh, so uh, this is yeah. going to be our top five things that we painted uh, in the la in 2023. Mm -hmm. um, not in terms of paint jobs, um, in terms of fun that was had. Yes. Um, so... We'll kick it off straight away. Uh huh. Give us your fifth miniature. Fifth, fifth miniature. Um, I'm going to start strong. This is my avatar of Cain. So this was a birthday present that I got from this lovely chap uh, right here. Um, I have wanted to paint, but also secretly not wanted to paint <laughs> uh, the avatar of Cain since uh, it was released last year or year before last. Now that it's 2024. Um, yeah, I love this model to death and giving it a frosty scheme has been something that I've thought about for a long, long time and Kieran being the ultimate hobby enabler that he is, um, obviously I had to, I absolutely had to. Um, it was a dream to build, it was a dream to paint, beautiful model um, and for Christmas Kieran actually got me Mahuagan Ra. Mahuagan Ra! Mahuagan Ra, that was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mahuagan um, Ra and a dinosaur, but we don't care about the dinosaur, it's all about Mahuagan. <laughs> What's your number five? So, number five for me is an army that I've slowly come to not like. Oh. Uh, that is the Votan, but I really, really sure. enjoy paying, painting the Iron Hair Champion. Nice. Um, in the ear. In the ear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's in the, the ear. The, <laughs> the Space Dwarf Power Ranger things and the giant weird Tetris suit things. Nice. Um, it was just a lot of fun to paint. Um, Looks really good in yellow, but then I think everything looks really good in yellow. It does, yeah. Big um, fan of yellow. I wish I could paint yellow. It's not very good. I can, it? I can teach you now. There it is. It's all Here in the we pink. Are. Yeah, I'm not very good. Um, number four. Number four. Uh, this is something I did for Warcom uh, for the Tyranny release. This is the Norn Emissary. This was Kieran's again, <laughs> but this time uh, his colour scheme that he did for the Leviathan challenge that we did in the summer. Um, you didn't think we'd do a video without mentioning Tyranids, did you? No, Tyranids everywhere. Um, this actually was a blast to paint. I think when I built it, I was like, crikey, this is enormous. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, it was great. No, had a really good time. Um, love the scheme. And it was actually, I think, one of the first models we did in that scheme. It was the first like one to get finished. finished. Yeah, yeah. Because, as we Loved know, it. Leviathan, for me, didn't go very well. <laughs> Josh, really funny, though. is <laughs> that that, so upset. Yeah, it was, it was deflating, but we don't need to talk about that. The, yeah. the Norn is my favourite Tyranid unit. I've got one in a box. I want to paint one, but it's, Tyranid you, just you crushed want, me. You also want to paint everything else. That's my problem. I think I just want to paint everything like as much as I don't like orcs I'd like to paint Gans at some point because it's just a cool mini wow it's just I want to paint everything challenges this year are going to be wild um, cool um, what's your number four number four for me is the blade guard that I did for nice. my dark angels blade guard so I've talked about blade guard enough um, they're wicked so versatile but the ones I did, these were the ones that came in, Lion's Weird Box. Which, a small side note, that was the hardest box ever I've had to buy a Warhammer. <laughs> so it was stupid. ridiculous. So um, stupid. Yeah, I cut the um, I cut the heads off, put the spare Dark Angel Deathwing Knight heads on, the ones with the cowls on, um, and they really worked. I had to, just had fun painting them. Mm. Um, turned out pretty cool. Great time. Great time indeed. Um, my number... Th Top three now. Three. Good grief. Um, number three is going to be the Talia Vedra. Uh, I think that's what her name is. Uh, well, you messed this kit up. I really did mess it up, and it was great. Um, so I am a huge simp, it turns out, for vampires. Um, I love Soul Black Grave Lords to death. And as soon as... Um, How many times have you watched Twilight? Don't want to say. <laughs> um, uh, and just, just as a small hot. side note... <laughs> He professes to love vampires. Has he ever watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, Slayer? No. I rest my case. 
case rest. Keep talking about your manticore. Uh, yes, the manticore. Uh, so I sent this is a Sigma arranged by um, Games Workshop, which was very very nice indeed. Um, and this model, as soon as they previewed a line with wings and a scorpion tail, I was like, be way cooler with a vampire on it. And what did you say? Can't do that. So I did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, loved it. It was it was such an ugly kit bash. Awful. Yeah, I had to cut everything to bits. I'm I'm hoping because I'm gonna out it that you still got the uh, the work in progress photos that you sent to me because it was tragic, horrible. It, yeah, I, no, uh, you sent tragic. one of them and I was like, "There's no way you're gonna resurrect that." No. You've, you've you genuinely not only have you ruined one of the coolest kits, you've ruined the only one that you're gonna get oh, because yeah. you put your Warhammer Plus miniature yeah, on the top of it. Yeah, was it Carlina von Karstein? I think her name is. Um, I might have got that wrong. Apologize if I did. Um, yeah, I had to cut up all around the back of her cape and it was awful I, once I'd cut it all I was like okay then I tried <laughs> to put it on the seat and it would never work so I had to cut the seat off so suddenly I'm ruining two kits and I was like oh no this is horrible I hope this works and then suddenly super glue green stuff and chains fine <laughs> Lo and behold, Ch Ch the, in fairness, kit bashing, no matter what you do, if you put chains around it, you hide everything. Yeah, exactly. Ch chains and green stuff and super glue is literally what my uh, Chaos Wolves are made of. So Yeah, just don't ever drop them. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, no, that no, Lord no, no. Disco. Every time you touch them, no. I'm like, stop it! Oh my god, no, it's a nightmare. Right, what's your number three? Number three for me is the uh, Tree Lord Ancient. Nice. So from that was from my first ever trip to Warhammer World that we went to this year. I picked up the Silver Earth Vanguard box after seeing them in the museum <laughs> and was in love. Yeah. Went in. <laughs> yeah, you really did. You walked out with like a full-blown army. Yeah. I came out with the Vanguard box and the Bug Lady and it is still criminal that I haven't painted the Bug Lady, but, you know, 2024 holds many things. Maybe Maybe, yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, I had a... The Tree Lord Ancient, I think... When I finished it, it was one of those things I was like, because I've been sat on them for so long, and I did, I, I'd never lost that I want to paint them. They were still really cool. And then when I got it finished, I was like, that's why I bought them. Yeah. I just, I just had, and the the funny thing is, I when I when I picked them up, to it, I was like, right, I'm not gonna spend hours. I'm not gonna blend all of this wood together. I was like, I want this to be fast, and I want it to be fun. Mm. And I just had, a, I just had a great time. Number two, uh, my number two is Angra. I'm really surprised that you put him that high mm. because that was so, even funnier. This wasn't an army for you. This was a commission. This was a commission. Yeah, it's not even mine. I don't own it. It's not mine anymore. <laughs> it's gone forever. Um, I. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, Funny that with Angron, isn't it? Primarchs. Yeah, I actually, I think at the time I was doing commission painting full time and I, I, in the space of two weeks, I did Mortarian, then Angron and had... An amazing fun, an amazing fun with both of them, but Angron just hit. I think it's because World Eaters had just come out at the yeah, time. Yeah, it was. It um, was on the the hype train was in the station. Yeah, it was, and, and you know what? Like I had a real love hate relationship with it at first, but that final day with all the finishing touches and the glowies and the sword and the base yeah. and the the blood everywhere, and I loved it. I honestly had so much fun come the end. But yeah, what's your number two? Number two for me is the Fists of the First Templar. I'm grouping the squad together that I did. Nice. That I did. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the five intercessors. That, for me, was a snowball moment. So I won a giveaway over on Instagram for the um, Combat Troll, and I chose the Black Templars one. And I sent you a message and was like, how cool would it be if I did this to this box? And yeah. you're like, that's wicked. I did it. Your pile of shame now reflects that. I did it, and then I was like, <laughs> oh no, this is mad fun. Yeah. And I discovered how to paint yellow, which I've always always loved yellow. Always wanted to paint yellow really well. Uh, kind of started to do that with the Votan. I was like, no, I'm going to force myself to try and learn. And then the Fist of the First Templar, I then levelled up in my yellow painting. Right. What have I done? What's your favourite miniature that you've painted in the whole of 2023? Favourite miniature of 2023 was my Chaos Space Wolf Dark Apostle. This comes from a place of hobby burnout. I was really just like not having fun. I was, yeah, I just had almost like, I'd, not like given up, but I was just sort of like, I just don't, I'm just so bored of everything that I was doing at the time. Um, the Dark Apostle came from a total bits bash. I was going to say, just, your, 
remember when you sent me some pictures of yeah. it when you're making it, your bits box went, Bleh. Yeah, it was just vomit. I think it's got like a space marine apothecary body. Um, it's got, yeah, it's just got like a mess. It's got like a, a chaos chosen, or no, a chaos terminator lord cape that I had to cut up and Some mold. scenery. It's got a reaver head, but with an orc. Uh, top knot on it. It's got scenery. It's got flags. It's got. It was like properly like I'm gonna roll some dice, um, and then the numbers will reflect the bits I take out of the bits box, and then I go yeah. from that. I um, think just yeah. speaking for you slightly, I think the the crystallizing moment for the Dark Apostle is we got to take it to Warhammer World. Yeah. Because you had that crazy idea with the Dark Apostle bomb with the um things running around Shows it and you're it, like yeah. this could be really cool and we took it to Warhammer World and it's quite swingy yeah it really is but when it works we're just like that's why I made that yeah, mini it rips it absolutely rips yeah Dark Apostle's great what was your favourite mini that you painted this year it's none other than the lion I mean I'm not totally happy with the paint job I did in the end um, why, I think why it, so? because it was in similar to you and the Dark Apostle I think it was in the middle of YouTube stuff was you know, getting out of control in terms of we had a backlog of stuff to edit. I was like, right, I want to get this done because I want to feel good about it. But I'm not gassed with how his head turned out. I think, I, I think, on when you look at them on paper, I think the hooded head, you go, that's easier to paint because mm. half of it's covered up. Whereas I wish I went with the bare head. And that's the first time I've ever, ever said or thought that it would have better because I don't like painting faces, but I think I would, really? I think I'd, it would have come out better. Okay. Um, and it was just, it was so cool to see his mini come out after years of so he was waiting. Where's he coming? Yeah, Willie won't he, Willie won't he. I remember, it was really funny, it was when he got showed off. Um, I think I woke up at, th I couldn't sleep that night. Mm. Nerdy nonsense, whatever it was. <laughs> I think I woke up at three in the morning. Um, oh, when the stream was? Yeah, but yeah. I, I looked at the Warcom article, and what was even funnier is, so I woke up at three in the morning, my partner also woke woke up and was like, what the hell are you doing on your phone at three in the morning? I was like, there's new Warhammer minis. <laughs> it's just like, you're so sad, lame. and just rolled over and went back to bed. <laughs> but the, the best thing was, is I, I opened the Warcom, and was like, the lion, yes! Completely missed, they'd also announced 10th edition. And went back to bed. <laughs> you just weren't interested. You were like, I have him. Anyway. <laughs> no, I didn't, even, I, didn't, I didn't even click on any of the links, I was just like, lion, yes please. Uh. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching yet again. Give us a like, give us a, a, a comment, a subscribe, um, and we'll see you uh, in the comments just down there. See ya. Ciao.